Hi guys, welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here on this inspirational Friday. Um, uh, once again, please hit that subscribe button. When, I, when I'm finished here, go to YouTube and hit that smash. Y'all know I say smash that subscribe button. But don't forget to click like and hit share so you can share this video with my reading fun and exciting books like this and inspirational I'm gonna inspire you this is Disney's magical world of reading so I'm gonna inspire you guys to do some reading today that's my inspirational book for today all right, all right. <laughs> yes Disney's magical world of reading we're reading about Dumbo <laughs> look at Dumbo all right so now let's get to reading Dumbo, this book, it says this is a story of a little elephant with a big heart and two very big ears. Like, kind of like mine, they stick out like Dumbo's, but don't call me Dumbo. <laughs> who learned to soar. Now, does it say who wrote this book? So, we'll just name it as Disney's. All right. It was morning at the circus. Hopeful mothers look, looked up as storks flew overhead. I hope you guys can see this. Each stork carried a tiny bundle that held a baby animal. Mrs. Jumbo sighed as she watched the happy mothers cuddling their babies. Oh dear, I did so hope there would be a bundle for me, she thought. She wanted a baby. A stork flew into Mrs. Jumbo's railway car, railway car, and dropped a large bundle. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Inside was a baby elephant. I'll call him Jumbo Jr., said Mrs. Jumbo. Look at him, cried the other elephants excitedly. Isn't he adorable? Look at, look, look. Isn't he adorable? Aw. Aw. Just then, Mrs. Jumbo's baby sneezed. Out flapped two enormous ears. Oh, two enormous ears. The other elephants gasped. They began to jiggle and giggle. He looks so funny, said one elephant. Let's call him Dumbo. They're gonna call him Dumbo because he looks funny. Look at that. I'm not telling you guys to tease anybody either. Mrs. Jumbo didn't care what the other elephants thought. She loved her baby big ears and all. She lifted him up in her trunk and gently rocked him to sleep. Aww. That night, the circus train stopped and all the animals climbed out. The circus men put up a huge tent. The next morning, the circus parade made its way through the town. The band played. The clowns and animals marched down the street as the people clapped and cheered. Crowds hurried to the circus tent that night. They were eager to see all the animals. Look at his ears, cried one noisy boy pointing at Dumbo. Aren't they the funniest things you've ever saw? They're still laughing at Dumbo's ears. Oh man, the boys laughed and teased Dumbo. Then one of them pulled the little elephant's ears. <gasps> they, they pulled his ears, they're so mean. Aww. Mrs. Jumbo trumpeted with anger, like how we would get mad if somebody bothered our kid, right? When she raised a hail bell to throw at the naughty boys, they ran away in terror. Down, down, cried the ringmaster, cracking his whip. Dumbo's mother was taken away and locked in a small cage, far away from Dumbo. Aww. Back in the tent, the other elephants gossiped about Dumbo's mother. Such disgraceful behavior, they said. It's all his fault, you know. And they turned their backs on Dumbo. Oh no. Oh no, that's so mean. Nearby, a mouse called Timothy was watching. He felt sorry for the little elephant. All we have to do is build an act. Timothy told Dumbo, make you a star. Hmm. Just then they heard the ringmaster talking 
in his tent. I've got an idea, he was saying. We will make an enormous pyramid of elephants. All it needs is a big finish. Mmm, he's got that bright idea. I guess if they had TikTok back then, he'd be really be a star, right? So as soon as the ringmaster was asleep, Timothy crept into his tent. He scampered up to the ringmaster's ear and said, your big finish is the little elephant with the big ears. Dumbo. Dumbo mumbled, Dumbo? Dumbo mumbled the ringmaster, Dumbo? He's like, Dumbo's gonna be our big finish? Oh boy. Hmm. The next morning, the ringmaster tried out his new idea. He had all the elephants balanced carefully on top of one another. And Dumbo was to be the very top elephant, a star. But when Dumbo ran to jump onto the top elephant, oh no, he tripped over his big ears and bumped into the pyramid. The elephants crashed to the ground and the whole circus tent fell down around them. Oh boy, bump, bump, bump. Now the elephants were angrier than ever with Dumbo. Oh boy. But the ringmaster had another idea. Dumbo could become a clown. Mm, let's see how that works out. So Dumbo was dressed like a baby and put at the very top of a burning building. Oh boy. The other clowns pretended to be firefighters. They sprayed Dumbo with water and held a hoop for him to jump into. Poor Dumbo was terrified as he jumped. Down, down, he dropped until he fell through the hoop. Oh boy. They just messing with him and being so mean. Into a tub of sticky goo. Look at that. Into a tub of sticky goo. The audience, the audience cheered and roared with laughter when Dumbo landed in the goo. Aw. But Dumbo was not happy at all. We'll go and see your mother, said Timothy, to cheer up Dumbo. Dumbo and his mother were overjoyed to see each other. Mrs. Jumbo put her trunk through the bars of her cage and cuddled her son singing a lullaby. Aww. But all too soon, it was time for Dumbo to go. Sadly, he fell asleep and dreamed and dreamed. Aww. Look at Dumbo. Aww. The next thing Dumbo and Timothy knew, it was morning. When they opened their eyes, they saw a group of crows looking at them. Dumbo and Timothy were high up on the branch of a tree. An elephant in a tree, said a crow? How did he get up there? <laughs> the little elephant was so surprised that he lost his balance. Dumbo and Timothy tumbled down into a pond far below. I wonder how we got in that tree, said Timothy, shaking himself dry. Maybe you flew, joked one of the crows. <laughs> Maybe you flew. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, that's it, cried Timothy. Dumbo, you flew up there. The little elephant looked surprised. He couldn't really fly, could he? You just have to believe in yourself, Dumbo, said Timothy. Oh. One crow gave Timothy an ordinary feather and whispered, this is a magic feather. It will help Dumbo fly. Holding the feather in his trunk, Dumbo stood at the edge of a cliff. Before he could change his mind, the crows pushed him. <gasps> they pushed him. They, they pushed Dumbo. And off he went. All at once, Dumbo was flapping his big ears and he was flying. <gasps> You did it, cried Timothy. You did it. Aw. Dumbo did it. That night at the circus, Dumbo stood at the top of the burning building. He didn't feel frightened. Now that he had the magic feather, he knew he could fly down safely. Timothy was tucked inside Dumbo's hat. Okay, he said, take off. Just as the little elephant leaped into the air, he dropped the feather and Dumbo began to fall. <gasps> Flap your ears, Timothy cried. You can fly, you can. 
Dumbo took a deep breath and began to flap his ears. He began to flap his ears. He flapped them as fast as he could. Aw. Suddenly Dumbo was flying. He didn't need that feather after all. The ringmaster was amazed. He watched Dumbo swoop over the tub of goo and soar past the cheering crowds. Dumbo was now a star. Aw. Look at that. He was a star. Aw. Before long, Dumbo was famous all around the world, just as Timothy had said he would be. Crowds flocked to the circus to see Dumbo, the amazing flying elephant. The ringmaster released Dumbo's mother and gave her a special train car of her own. And Dumbo and his mother were very, very happy. Aww, that's the end, you guys. I know, I know, you guys wanted to hear more, but that's the end, I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for listening to me read fun and exciting books like this here at Audrey's Reading Area. Don't forget, click that like, share this video, and once I'm done here, go on over to YouTube and smash, I said smash, that subscribe button for me. And then don't forget to share it with people. Tell everybody to click subscribe. Don't forget to hammer, hammer that notification bell so that everybody can be notified or you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video on Audrey's reading area. Shout out to my mom. Thanks mom for always being here. Her name is Bev. I got a shout out to my cousin Denise. I got a shout out to my girl Tiffany. They're, yes, they are here. And my girl Catherine. Some of them are camera shy. <laughs> got a shout out to them for being here and supporting Want to, want to say hi real quick real quick real quick say hey say hey real, real quick all right that's my girl tip <laughs> she didn't want to do it <laughs> but thank you thank you thank you so much for being here at audrey's reading area don't forget again smash that subscribe button for me and i guess i'll see you on monday because you know today's friday so i'll see you live l-i-v-e live at five on monday see you soon you guys